told that I had severe arthritis in both knees. And it was my choice as to which one would be replaced first, but it was inevitable they needed to be done. And, but I put it off and put it off and put it off because I just hated the idea of being on the wrong end of a surgeon's knife. <laughs> They said that there was this new robotic arm was being installed and that I might like to take advantage of that. It was my choice. Um, Mr. Chowdhury described the differences between conventional process and the accuracy of this new robotic process. And then uh, said well, he could do it conventionally if I wanted, but I said, no, I fancy the, I fancy the robotic arm. It's simply because of the accuracy of it. So the main advantage of MAKO is that you're able to utilise a CT scan to template which implant sizes you need to put in for the operation. Then on the day of the operation, together with the manufacturers of the implant, you can optimise the position of the implant on the bone and correct the alignment of the leg which is probably changed because of the deformity relating to arthritis. We hope that that means it improves the outcomes for patients over the longer term. The robot arm helps us to be able to make precise cuts with safe boundaries. Those boundaries are there so that you cannot cut beyond the bone and it makes it safer for the soft tissues around the bone. What's great about the availability of this robot here at the Sussex Orthopaedic Treatment Centre is it opens up the availability of this technology to more of our patients in this area. I don't know whether I ever will. I'd love to go skiing again if I can. And holidays. Got to, got to get into holidays again.